Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to put Weebly blog posts into columns. Um, this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial, which can be found on Weebly Tricks. And I will also post a link to the step-by-step -step written tutorial in the description of this video. All right, so let's get started. Let's move over here to the Weebly editor. And this is, this is the site we're using. This is a demo site. And this is a Weebly blog page. And on this blog page, there are six blog posts. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and as you can see, they are not in rows. They're in one all they're all in one column. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS. Oops, sorry about that. Open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Go over to the Weebly editor here. Go to the top, click on theme. And in the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. All right. Step two, add CSS codes. All right, so we're going to copy the CSS the CSS codes provided in the written step-by-step -step tutorial. And we're going to go to the Weebly editor. And we're going to click on our CSS file. And because the theme we're using is a Generation 4 Weebly theme, the CSS file's name is main.less. If you're using an older Generation Weebly theme, such as like uh, Generation 3 Weebly theme or prior, your CSS file name will probably be named main-styles.css. So just click on your CSS file on the left. And on the right, we're going to scroll down. And I'm actually going to look for the blog code um, that came with the theme so we can group it all together. So I actually wrote down the line number here before I started the tutorial to make it easier. So. Uh, Okay, here we go. So, oops. All right. So um, I'm going to make some space here. We're going to paste in the, C the CSS code we copied from the written tutorial. All right. And if you see like a little red dot that appears, just delete that. Right. Step three, we need to adjust the CSS code. Okay, now depending on how many blog posts you want to have per row, um, you'll need to make an adjustment to the CSS code. For this particular tutorial, we just want two blog posts per row. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit one piece of coding from the previous step. So go back to the Weebly editor. And you're going to look for where is it? Okay, so right here, um, this CSS code we just added. Dot w site hyphen blog hyphen index dot blog post. You'll see a width of fifty percent. That means, excuse me, that means um, the blog put uh, blog posts within each row will occupy each. I'm sorry, each blog post within a row will occupy fifty percent of the total width that's been allocated. So. I click save you'll see that two blog posts occupy each row each one is occupying 50% now let's say you wanted three blog posts to occupy each row so we'll go back into the weekly editor find the code we just added and we're going to change the width to 33.33%. That load. Click save. And now you can see that three blog posts occupy each row. All right. And if you wanted four blog posts to occupy each row, then you would do 25% and so on and so forth. Now this now the amount of blog posts you want to occupy uh, occupy each row is entirely up to you, um, depending on the aesthetics of your website, uh, 
how much room you've been allocated across your container. But all right, guys, that's it. And that's how you put your Weebly blog posts into columns.